Um, we've got questions out. Oh, Neil. Hi, Mr. How are you doing? Dr. Tyson. Okay. Oh, John. John. Oliver. Sorry. Yeah. The stars are out tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, Oliver, I'm curious. In, um, we could imagine a future of neuroscience, which we all know is advancing rapidly. Uh, I can imagine a day, perhaps, where they can go into your brain and snip a neurosynaptic connection that would end all hallucinations. Let, let's imagine that for the moment. If we could do that, should we? And if you had that option, would you? And if it were available, do you imagine a sort of an ethical line beyond which we should not alter people's behavior because it is a product of the mores of the day that could change over the decades? Um, a deep, deep question and, uh, and a question which is becoming technologically possible. It's no longer just a fantasy. Um, a particular form of this relates to um, unpleasant traumatic memories. Um, there may be chemical ways of, of reducing these, um, which has been especially suggested for people with post-traumatic stress syndrome. Um, and uh, would this be a benefit or are we, are we meddling? Or to take a much cruder example, when there was a great fashion for lobotomies and leucotomies in the 1950s, um, uh, um, was it ethical? You know, people were often in intolerable, tormenting obsession and anxiety, and they might be released from this, but, but should they be released? Um, I am... Um, uh, Specifically, I think hallucinations are, you know, an unusual, rich, um, uh, um, a rich expression of, of, of the brain's activity, um, and we'd be poor without them. Uh, you describe in the book some of these precise dilemmas in the way epileptics were treated, in the sense that lesions were so localized that a snip was nearly possible in some cases. Mm -hmm. Was there an ethical consideration in those cases? Uh, yes, um, uh, specifically actually people with ecstatic hallucination, ecstatic seizures uh, would not take their medication and they would also, le they would also learn ways of stimulating these. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I, I can't answer your question, Neil, but, but, but the, next, the next 50 years will. Thank you. Thank you very much.